cookie swirl? See? <laughs> Hello, cookie fans! What goes together better than peanut butter and jelly? Two LOL dolls that are inspired by peanut butter and jelly! So these two dolls are gonna get a super duper tasty peanut butter and jelly makeover. So this girl is going to turn into peanut butter inspired. And this girl, don't be jelly, she's gonna be jelly! So let's get started! So the first thing I'm gonna do to fix these dolls up is work on their faces. So this one, I'm gonna use a little bit of some nail polish remover on a cute tip because right now she is looking like a kitty cat and she is not going to be a kitty cat anymore. We are going to turn her into a peanut butter and jelly girl. So I need to get rid of her whiskers and that little kitty cat nose. Now, goodbye. Now I'm going to go in with a chocolatey brown acrylic paint color and fix her eye. It looks a little bit weird on this side so I'm just going to repair that a little bit and change the color just oh so slightly. Just going to use a toothpick for the smaller areas of her eye. Go in with the white, kind of touch the them up. There we go. And her friend is going to get green eyes. Now for their lipstick. I'm going to paint their lips with my toothpick and I'm going to go in with a darker brown for peanut butter and for jelly. I'm actually going to use some of this translucent paint so it actually dries a little bit translucent -y. It's really cool so I'm just going to use a little bit and I'm just going to go over her red lipstick that she has with just a little bit of this translucent -y color so that way it'll give it a nice glossy kind of strawberry colored shine to it. Now we're going to color their hair look at that color. Ooh, yummy. This looks like smooth whipped peanut butter. And paint her hair. Very, very cute. I like this doll. I like how her hair is kind of pulled back into this like little mini ponytail. Her hair is very smooth here on the back. And the way that her bangs are kind of in the front, it kind of is a little bit peanut shaped, isn't it? We gotta keep her hair color nice and smooth. Just let the edge of my brush kind of glide on over and cover her side hair here. And a smaller brush to kind of do some of these little side details that she has. Like she's got this little tiny swirly. And get a little bit closer to to her face. Now for our grape girl, oh look at this. Okay, so this is not the perfect paint to use on her. The color of purple is actually called wild grapes. So use a little bit of this paint. Give her this really cool grapey colored hair. Again, I just want to keep that paint nice and smooth. There we go. And I can always go over with multiple coats. Just you want to make sure your layers are nice and thin and smooth. You don't want like one thick layer. It's better to do multiple thin layers. And this hair is perfect for her too. I love how it's kind of wavy and kind of squiggly. Just like you're putting some grape jam on toast. And then I will go in with a second coat of paint that will cover up all of that splotchiness that she's got going on. And a second coat on our jelly. And it's still looking just a tiny bit splotchy splotchy so we'll just add on a third coat of paint to their hair too. Ooh, the jelly still has lots and lots of splotchy to cover up. There we go. Third coat should do it. Now for Jelly's outfit, I'm going to use my translucent paint. Dip it in. And again, it's just going to give her shoes like this jelly kind of shine to it. So this is going to be just like putting on some strawberry jelly jam. It's going to have a nice sheen right on her shoe. On peanut butter shoes, I'm going to paint them actually a darker brown. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of like a readier peanut buttery color and paint the tops of her shoes. Then I'm going to use this toasted marshmallow color, which how pretty is that? That's like the creamiest, creamiest white ever. And we're going to put a little bit of this creamy color right on the bottom of her shoe reminds me of the color of bread. Kind of like a bready white color. Now I could have painted the soles of her shoes here the darker brown color to make it look like a bread crust, but I wanted it to be a little bit more of a darker brown just to add a little bit more color to her overall look. I think this is going to really turn out nice. And now I'm going to use some of those same colors that I painted with her shoes to paint her dress. Now I'm going to go in with that brown peanut butter color and paint the rest of her dress. 
Yum, yum. Kind of smooth on that paint color, just like you're smearing on. Oh, some peanut butter. You can kind of touch up those edges, not a problem. Then I'm going to go right back in with that darker brown shade, and I'm going to paint in all of these little tiny bows. These tiny bows kind of remind me of little peanuts. I don't know why, but they just do. Now for Jelly, I'm gonna go back in with that translucent color paint and just paint it on her dress and see, look at that. See, it totally looks like strawberry jelly. Now I'm gonna open up the purple translucent paint. Ooh, this looks like grape jelly. And let's just paint this right over this little top piece. Give that kind of a grapey jelly color. Ooh, I love this translucent paint. It is really cool. And because this color gives such a nice little grapey glaze, let's just go over her hair too with it. And then now it will really look like grape jelly. Just adds a really nice sheen to her hair. Now the last thing to do is seal everything in with this DuraClear matte varnish. So everywhere I painted with acrylic paint, I'm going to put this varnish on and this will protect the paint. So that way it makes it completely durable and sturdy for play. All right, are we ready to check them out? Are we ready, are we ready? Peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly, jelly peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly. jelly. Here are the new LOL BFF Customs. Adorable little peanut butter and jelly, you guys. Don't they go together so perfectly? Okay, it's driving me nuts how cute she is. I think this is like the perfect peanut buttery color hair for her. And her outfit is just so nutty and so adorable. I love the darker color added into her shoes and to her little bows and to her lip color. It just fits so well with her. And her deliciously adorable BFF. F, a little jelly. It's got two types of jelly. She's got this purple grape jelly hair. And then it goes into this strawberry color through her dress and to her toes. And she's got like these big, beautiful green eyes that I think just fit her so, so perfect. Kind of like a grape stem or a strawberry stem. And of course, I left her hair and her outfit completely like with that translucent paint to kind of give it that jelly texture. Do you see how it kind of looks kind of like a sticky jelly jam? Perfect, perfect just for her. So I think these are two of my my new favorite customs that I have painted. I hope you cookie fans like the video. Ooh, what's your favorite thing to put on a sandwich? What type of jelly do you like? Do you like crunchy or smooth peanut butter? Let me know in the comments and keep being amazing. Ooh, just like this amazing Cookie Swirl Z fan mail. What did Gracie draw? A big giant Cookie Swirl Z cookie. Because I am a huge cookie fan. My name is Gracie. My favorite color is blue. And you drew a blue shark. Oh, and a rainbow yummy gummy bear. That is so cute, Gracie. I love your videos from Ava, who drew a cookie girl standing next to a cookie flower. Says, two cookie swirl from Kate. You are my favorite YouTuber. Cookie swirl C. Kate, thank you. This cookie person is so awesome. I mean, it's like a cookie with cookie shoes on standing on the cookie ground. I love it. So, so sweet. Ooh, cookie swirl world. I can be a cute yummy gummy bear. Whoa, look at the gummy bear. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. How high can it go in the candies? How high can it go? Keep on going, little gummy bear. Keep on going. Whoa. Whoa! It's the official Cookie Swirl C app game, you guys. It is available right now. You can download it for free at the Google Play Store and the App Store. It's free! <laughs> All right, Cookie fans, who remembers? What color did I paint Jelly's eyes again? Did I give her purple eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, or red eyes? Bye, Cookie fans! <laughs>